Hi, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself, and today I want to talk about breakdowns. This is a hard topic. Um, if you're having a physical breakdown, a mental breakdown, an emotional breakdown, they're all the same thing. They're all a manifestation of your symptoms, you know, of your emotions. So your emotions are the main thing that's breaking down. Even when you think you're having a physical breakdown, which um, accumulates in a chronic illness or a pain condition, or some sort of terrible uh, illness that is plaguing you, and you don't think it's emotional, it actually is. It's just the way that your body's manifesting it. So let's talk about an emotional breakdown, a nervous breakdown. So your nervous system is there to protect you at all times. And this is a tough topic. It's almost like I don't know where to start with it. But when I was at my worst, I was completely broken. I had an emotional, spiritual, mental, and physical breakdown all at once of my central nervous system. And that's what a nervous breakdown is, truly. Um, when all the areas at once come together and completely crash your system. Now, why does that happen and what can we do about it in the moment? Okay, so the first thing, you are having an emotional breakdown. You are having a nervous breakdown because you don't feel safe. And that's the bottom line. When you don't feel safe, your nervous system goes into overdrive to protect you. You are completely overwhelmed with the circumstances, the experience, whatever is happening or going on in your life. And it has brought you to a point. Hang on, we have some walkers and it's such a difficult topic I thought I would slow it down for a minute hey okay so when you are having a nervous breakdown you feel so overwhelmed you've been brought to a state of complete and utter overwhelm in your life and the feeling of not feeling safe that you literally and figuratively reach your breaking point, thus the nervous breakdown. So what happens is you are trying to hold it together. People who have nervous breakdowns are usually very tough. They're usually want, they usually um, want to be perceived well in the world. They want people to think well of them. They want to be able to hold it together. They don't want to be experiencing this. And their goal is to hold it together. So your body is encouraging you to break down. It's telling you your life is not working. It's telling you the situation is too much for you. It needs a release. It needs to cry. It needs to be heard. It needs to talk. It needs to scream. It needs to run away. It needs to change something. It needs to change its situation immediately. But because we keep holding it together, holding it together and continually trying to appear like everything's okay, we're in control. So when you have this controlling personality, you're, you're literally trying to hold your nervous system from breaking down, which is its natural state that it's trying to do. So literally the best thing that you can do when you're in the middle of a nervous breakdown, whether it be physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, whatever, is to let it happen, is to let your body break down. And there's a real fear and a stigma surrounding that because we think that we won't ever be well again, that we will continually live in that state, that we will go crazy, that this will become our existence, that um, other people will shun us, that we'll no longer be able to function. All of these fears stop us and, and keep us holding on to control from actually doing what our body insists it wants to do, which is breaking it down. It might need to cry and cry and cry and cry in the case of an emotional breakdown, it might need to shake and it might need to change its life, you know, in the cause of a, a physical breakdown. You know, the body and the nervous system is there to protect you at all times. And we feel 
like we have to protect it. And that's couldn't be further from the truth. So you don't have to protect yourself or stay in control against your nervous system. Your nervous system knows best, always, every single time. So when you let yourself, when you meet the nervous breakdown and allow yourself to let your body do what it wants to do and have the release and have the experience and feel the feelings and feel the emotions that are being held in through control by us, our body feels a relief and a release and it's, it gives us a wave of relief to release them, to let them go. So some of the most common reasons we try to hold it together is because we fear judgment and criticism and being abandoned by our friends, family, or tribe, or society in general. Another big common reason for trying to hold it together is because of your job, because you have the pressure of having to go out and work every day, and if you um, aren't able or you're having this emotional, mental, physical breakdown, um, you won't be able to perform and meet your financial objectives. Another reason for holding it together is I can't break down in front of my kids, right? I can't let them see this. I can't let them carry this burden for me. I can't let it affect them. So can you see that all these reasons just induce more pressure on yourself to hold it together? Because they're very valid reasons, right? You have pressure to hold it together in front of your kids so that they don't see the real you and the real turmoil and the real emotions and like the loss of control as you break down. You don't want your kids to to witness that. You don't want society or your friends or your family to have to witness that and take care of you. You may have obligations, financial obligations, and you have to meet them. And there's all this pressure that if you allow yourself to break down, you won't be able to. You'll starve. You'll be homeless. So can you see the mounting pressure that we put on ourselves to stay in control, to not allow the breakdown happen? And this is essentially what's keeping you in this chronic state, when something goes, somebody can have an emotional breakdown um, for like a week and then come through it and go back to their life and they're okay because they've gone through it. There's people who have chronic pain, chronic illness, chronic mental and emotional problems or conditions or disorders, whatever you're labeled by. And these are people who, who have so much pressure to stay in control, to appear in control, and to not fall apart, that it actually keeps them debilitated, more debilitated than actually falling apart over the long term. So yes, they're not having that big breakdown. They're still slightly in control, but they're completely debilitated with anxiety or depression or pain or illness. Right? And it's a chronic ongoing thing because it's... it's but they feel still just in control enough that they're not totally debilitated on the floor, crying, screaming, whatever they think an emotional or nervous breakdown looks like, right? So there's this pressure to hold it together. And the result of that is the chronic illness, the chronic pain, the chronic mental disorder. So we have to meet our pain. We have to feel our feelings. We have to allow our body and our mind to break down, to go through it, to release the pressure that we're holding and putting on ourselves. And then when we do cry, ever notice when you do cry, even with a chronic illness or chronic disease, and you do have that release emotionally or physically, you do feel better the next day. You do feel better on the other side of that, but it always comes back and the condition stays because we don't actually change our life on the other side. And here's the second part of this. Yes, you have to feel it. Yes, you have to go through it. Yes, you have to be present every time you feel like breaking down. You have to allow yourself to have that release, to take the pressure off. No, every time it's mounting into a crisis situation where your nervous breakdown um, is coming, know that that's because pressure is mounting. The pressure to perform, the pressure to stay in control, the pressure to 
be perceived a certain way is mounting. And that's truly what is happening. And it, it keeps coming and coming and coming, right? Because we're not changing our life on the other side of the, the nervous breakdowns. We're not saying everything that I'm doing in my life right now is causing me to feel all this pressure. And I have to make a serious change in order to take this pressure off me and to feel safe back in the world again. So it's not enough just to allow your body to feel safe in these moments. It's about changing your life completely, listening to your nervous system and saying, okay, I get it. What do you want from me? What do I need to do? Maybe I need to tell my family and friends. Maybe I need to tell my children, tell everybody, take the pressure of hiding it off me. Maybe I need to quit my job. Maybe I need to get a different job. Maybe I don't like this life. Maybe I don't want to work here. Maybe I don't want to live here. Maybe I'm not having enough fun in my life. Maybe my whole to-do list every single day with all the cooking and cleaning and tasks that are never ending are causing me so much pressure and there's not enough pleasure in my life and I need to reorganize my life to feel pleasure and to experience pleasure instead of manufactured to-do list pressure. Right? So we need to find ways to take the pressure off, whether it seems minute, like a to-do list, or seems huge, like um, getting out of a relationship or um, sharing your feelings with the world or whatever it might be. There's big and small, but they're all adding up. They're all adding up to increase this huge pressure on you where you feel overwhelmed unsafe and like you are like you can't handle it you're not in control of your life your feelings or the world around you because it's just too much it's too much and when you feel your pain rising when you feel your illness your symptoms ratcheting up when you feel your emotions over pouring when you're crying having um, you know, a crying outburst or a screaming outburst, you can be sure that the pressure is mounting in your life from whatever you're doing that day. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, the thoughts going around in your head and the actions and the pressures that you feel. And so it's very important that we take these signals from our body seriously and we try to release them throughout the day as much as possible all the time rather than release the steam valve on a pressure cooker or an instant pot all at once and have it blow <clears throat> but even when we let it blow we don't try to stop the pressure cooker we get out of the way and we let it do its thing we let the pressure come off and then when everything is released and everything starts to feel better and the nervous system calms down we need to change our life we need to say i don't want to be in this position anymore right so if you're feeling like you can't accept a mental, uh, an emotional, a nervous, or a physical breakdown, think again. That's exactly what you need to do. You need to accept it. You need to feel it. You need to go through it. And you need to be okay with that. You need to take the pressure off yourself. You need to change your life. And then you will have no need to carry chronic pain, chronic illness, chronic conditions, chronic worries because you're not continually resisting and trying to stay in control of your life and yourself and keep everything just as it is because that is the exact thing and the opposite of what you need to be doing. <sighs> so this has been a long one. Just know that if you're having a nervous breakdown, you're okay. You will be okay. It is okay to have that. It is okay to break down. Give yourself the permission that you need to experience it, to go through it, to have that release and relief and feel safe again and then change your life so that you're living a life that feels good, pleasurable, safe, happy, sustainable, not overwhelming, right? Like all the things that you don't want. That is the life that you need to change. So I hope this video has been helpful and I will see you again soon.